Some of you have asked me, how can I tell my parents that I'm wearing diapers? Others are at a loss as to whether they should tell them at all or keep it to themselves. In this video, I'll give you my opinion on this and I'll give you tips so you can make your own decision. The first thing we need to distinguish is the reason. Is it involuntary, for example, because you're wetting the bed unintentionally? Then you should talk to your parents or a doctor. It may be a medical problem or it may be due to severe psychological stress such as a fight at home, a divorce, bullying, pressure to perform at school or other things that are stressing you out. Diapers can possibly help here. In my opinion, however, the most important thing here is to find the cause and, ideally, resolve it. I would therefore seek a confidential consultation. The doctor has a duty of confidentiality, which can be important if there are problems with the parents. Even if some people are ashamed of it, there is no shame in talking openly about your problems and wanting to solve them, on the contrary. It's also not your fault if you wet the bed without meaning to. But what if there are no psychological or medical reasons and you simply want to wear diapers voluntarily? There are various reasons for this too. Some like to behave like a toddler or baby, so a diaper is just as much a part of that as toys or cuddly toys, for example. Others like wearing diapers because they give them a feeling of security, remind them of their childhood or are simply practical because they don't always have to go to the toilet. None of this is fundamentally a bad thing, after all, it doesn't harm anyone. And yet it is unfortunately very difficult to talk to parents or friends about it. Many people who have nothing to do with diapers themselves find it at least funny or even disgusting when someone wears diapers without having to. This ranges from incomprehension to rejection. In my opinion, you can't blame people for not understanding it. It's like a hobby that others don't like or share. There's a lack of understanding as to why someone would voluntarily do something that you would never do yourself. However, it becomes difficult if you are rejected for it. It's like with other hobbies. Everyone knows hobbies of a friend or family member that you don't like yourself. So it's best to leave this topic aside and talk about the things you both like. That's okay, because everyone is different and not everyone likes everything. Unfortunately, when it comes to diapers, I've often noticed that some people see this issue differently. Either people from outside believe in prejudices, or they find the very idea of wearing a diaper quite repulsive. I would therefore think very carefully about who I tell about it. Parents often think that something is wrong. Especially if you are still under 18, your parents may send you to a doctor, because it is incomprehensible to them that you wear diapers voluntarily and they suspect a medical problem. If it is a preference, you can also ask yourself whether it is appropriate to tell your parents about it. Would you do it with other preferences? Probably not, because it's a very personal issue. Some have the dream that they tell their parents about it and they then buy them diapers. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that this happens very rarely. Even if you are lucky and your parents accept that you wear diapers voluntarily, most parents see this as an unnecessary leisure activity that you should therefore pay for yourself. You should also bear in mind that you will probably have to stay at home for at least a few more years before you can move out. This can be unpleasant if your parents know about the diapers and refuse. I've seen parents dispose of their diaper supply and have had arguments about it. It's also difficult with friends. I know people who have confided in their best friends and then lost them. Of course, it doesn't have to be exactly the same for you. Unfortunately, the majority of your feedback is negative, a small proportion is neutral and a very small proportion is positive. So think carefully about who you can really trust with something like this. Some friends don't keep this secret to themselves but tell others, which can lead to bullying at school, for example. I personally have kept it to myself and would recommend it to anyone who is not 100% sure that parents or friends will accept diapers. As soon as you moving out from your parents, you can wear what you want without having to justify yourself or fear rejection. That's a few years and may seem like a lot, but it's manageable. When you're still living at home, most of your life is ahead of you, not behind you. Until then, you may be able to wear diapers in secret, for example in your own room or when no one is at home. Ultimately, however, you should think for yourself about what is best for you. In the end, you will have to live with the consequences of your decision. In any case, you shouldn't allow yourself to be rushed or make a hasty decision. Think about it calmly. If you are more inclined to tell them but are unsure, you can bring up the subject in an innocuous way first, 
for example, bring up at an appropriate opportunity that you've read about how some people wear diapers voluntarily. This way, you can find out what they think about it without immediately outing yourself. If they react too negatively, you can take a step back and say that you've only heard about it. If they are relaxed about it, it can be an opportunity to out yourself as a diaper wearer. But remember, this is only an indication. Some people react differently when you talk about a topic in general than when it concerns them. So you can only find out whether they have a fundamentally negative view of diapers, which would be a bad sign for coming out as a diaper wearer. Especially if you're not out and don't want to be, you should be careful to keep it that way. That means hiding everything related to diapers safely and not getting too careless so that no one accidentally finds your stuff. I hope this video helps you to make the right decision for you. Feel free to write in the comments what you think or have decided. Otherwise, you will find more videos about diapers in the margin that you might like. I also regularly test different diapers in everyday life to show you how good they are. Stay dry, until the next video.